Beastman requires that only licensed contractors perform installation and service on their boilers. Beastman also recommends attending their academy training, which covers all aspects of installation, service, and troubleshooting. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the pipe fittings for the Vividins 100 boiler. Inside of your installation set, you're going to find 30 PSI boiler pressure relief valve, an adapter for that valve, two purging valves, two 3-inch extensions, two T's, and a gas ball valve. If you got the B1KA, you're also going to get a T and 150 PSI rated pressure relief valve for the domestic hot water line. Let's take a look on where they actually go on the boiler. So if you face the boiler like I am right now, and you take a look underneath, this is what you're going to see. Regardless of whether or not it is a B1HA or a B1KA, you will see these symbols behind the connections. Those symbols stand for supply and return heating, domestic hot water, and your gas. Next to those symbols, you should also see arrows that point towards or away from the fittings. This means that the flow is either into or out of the boiler. Now the picture of the boiler we're looking at right now is a B1KA. You can tell that because the domestic hot water fittings are both a half inch threading. On the B1HA, however, all the fittings are three quarter inch and that's because you're supposed to take the domestic hot water lines and put them into an indirect tank, which will then feed the domestic hot water for the house. You will also notice that in the back there is the connection for the condensate runoff tube. If you take a look at the top of your boiler, this is where you will find the connection for your boiler pressure relief. Very important that you know that you need to externally support this pipe so the weight is not laying on the boiler itself. Before connecting this boiler into the heating loop for the house, you should always check the maximum flow rate for the boiler. Because these are low mass boilers, they don't tend to have as great flow rate as that of the house. Therefore, you're going to need some sort of hydraulic separation so that the boiler can flow at its comfortable flow rate and the house can flow at its own independent flow rate. We recommend using a low loss header, which you can pick up at your wholesaler, but you can also achieve the hydraulic separation by installing closely spaced tees into the plumbing just before connecting into the house line. Along with your low loss header, we also recommend getting one of the condensate neutralizing boxes at your wholesaler. That should be everything you need to know for piping. If you watch the next video, we'll go over the coating and the wiring for this boiler. For any additional questions regarding installation, you can go to our website, scroll down to contractors, and if you click on the sales network tab, you'll get a list of trained Viesman sales representatives who provide local support to our customers. Thanks for choosing Viesman and have a nice day.